You're watching The Facts, and this week we're here at the Museum of Natural History in Halifax. It's under some major construction as they prepare to unleash Sue the T-Rex. And starting next week, you can catch our full programs on East Link TV. This week we've been gearing up for the season with some camera exercises. We're telling stories with pictures. Here's one where I saw bouldering in action. It's light climbing with no ropes. After that, I get ready to make a traditional student dinner. Students are getting ready for their annual protest against high tuition fees, and they're getting crafty about it. Rebecca Spence reports. Sean Bullen pays over $6,000 for one semester of school. He's worried the high cost of his education will overshadow the value of what he's actually learning. The NASCA student wanted to get involved in the campaign to lower tuition. I hope that whoever we're trying to communicate with communicates back in a positive way and tells us that tuition fees are not going to raise or tells us what needs to happen in order to keep tuition fees at a reasonable level so that we can focus our energy on artistic pursuits. NASCAD students are playing to their strengths and getting crafty. 
The Canadian Federation of Students is teaming up with NASCAD's Student Union to paint banners for the protest. This session is part of a series of Sunday meetings. Although last Sunday's blizzard kept most people from coming out, there's still a lot of interest for the next few weeks. On February 2nd, students will take their banners to the streets. Elise Graham is organizing the meetings. So we're holding the day of action to make sure that students' voices are heard and we're able to um, be really loud and take up some space and tell government that we want um, lower tuition fees, more funding for students. Higher tuition would be a burden on students like Bullen. I'm going to take out loans probably or like beg my mom to help me out. So I haven't really thought too much about tuition as far as like how I'm going to pay for it. I'm really more just worried about paying my rent. Students hope that their bold signs will make a bold statement. For The Facts, I'm Rebecca Spence. There's an elephant in the room. It's at the St. Mary's University Art Gallery. It's a trained elephant that does circus tricks. Justin Mahoney explains. She's graceful. She walks forward and back, sits and plays dead. And she's 6,000 pounds. Her name is Minnie. She's the elephant featured in Douglas Gordon's art video installation. It's called Play Dead Real Time, and it's at the St. Mary's University Art Gallery. In a new digital era, where anyone can edit their own videos, reality is the new art form. For Minnie the Elephant, that means repeating the same tricks over and over again, forever captured on these videos for our own entertainment. Um, well, we actually have been thinking about this, uh, this particular one for several years. It wasn't easy getting this elephant in the room. It was originally proposed to us by the Center for Art Tapes as a co-production. And then we ran into problems, bureaucratic problems, uh, because the screens are, are go very close to the ceiling. And originally we were told that our ceiling was too low for the show. But then we found someone at the National Gallery who was able to help us get through those hurdles and to get the show. The installation's technical requirements were at first a concern for the art gallery. Well, for this uh, installation we had to um, build these two large screens you see behind me and over there um, and mount the cameras into the ceiling. Um, we've been spending the last four or five days um, putting it together. Now, thanks to the National Art Gallery, Minnie is at the St. Mary's University Art Gallery. The artist made this larger than life video of the Indian elephant in a New York gallery. The images of Minnie made an impression on those at the opening. And to uh, experience the um, agility and the um, uh, grace of this uh, uh, creature is very intriguing in itself. But you also feel like you're the mouse. You're the mouse running around the elephant, that you could be the one who gets stepped on. The exhibit opened on January 7th. It runs until February 6th. For the facts, I'm Justin Mahoney. That's it for the first edition of The Facts of 2011. Join us next Thursday at 7.30 p.m. on Eastlink TV. Jordana Levine will fill you in on a T-Rex named Sue. The exhibit opens here on Saturday at the Museum of Natural History. That's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. Bye. See ya. For more news from the University of King's College, listen to CKDU 88.1 FM weekdays at 5. You can find the King's newspaper, The Commoner, every week in coffee shops around the HRM. Check out frequent updates on unews.ca. And of course, tune in weekly to The Facts on East Link TV, Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. You can also see us online anytime at thefacts.wordpress.com.